One of the many arts events that was postponed earlier this year has been reimagined and rescheduled. The Minneapolis St. Paul International Film Festival is underway and continues for the next week. I spoke with the festival program director to find out how MSPIF has been redefined and the new opportunities that come with this year's format. We've been able to bring um, 50 of our feature films that we were going to show in April um, online. And we're also augmenting the experience with having daily Q and A's with filmmakers and artists and, and subjects of documentary films so that um, folks can interact directly, ask questions about the making of films or dive deeper into the subjects that they explore. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but from where I'm sitting, this honestly feels like a little bit of an opportunity because there are plenty of films that I would have liked to have seen in years past that I was just never able to get to because of seating capacity and things like that. Are, do you see it as that as well? Yeah, we do. You know, we're, we're looking for silver linings anywhere we can find them. And this is certainly one of them. Um, bringing the films into a virtual space breaks down geogra geography barriers. And, you know, there's there's numerous films in the program that are made by Minnesota filmmakers and they're shot at locations all over the state. And so folks um, can, from those communities can now access these films and share in the, in the experience together. Like for example, Northfield, let's talk a little bit about Tuscaloosa. What brings you to Tuscaloosa? Yeah, Tuscaloosa, it's, uh, it's been a passion project of um, local Minnesota filmmaker, um, Phil Harder for over 15 years. And it's, he adapted a novel of the same name and uh, as you said, it was shot in Northfield and it takes place in the early 70s at the height of civil rights movement and the Vietnam War. And basically it's a coming of age story for a not so young fella who, um, you know, he's finding love and he's finding his rebellion against his father, who's part of a white power elite. I'm fixing to make you respectable. Sometimes doing the right thing can have consequences that impact you immediately. Um, but that's what our characters discover in this really great film. My car you know, was dived into the river. The bridge focuses on the, um, the tragedy of the I-35W bridge collapse um, that happened almost 13 years ago now. Um, and it focuses on the survivors of that, of that incident, as well as first responders and political leaders. And it brings us up to speed. Um, where are they now? And it, these, these survivors, they tell their intimate stories of that experience and it's really revealing. Um, and, you know, at a moment when we're all sort of dealing with our own national tragedy, it, it, it helps to hear how people are able to process pain and past um, traumas. Well, before I let you go, Jesse, is it, what, what would you like our viewers to know about um, this year? Are, are you guys asking for donations? Is there, is there a potential that we could lose this festival for next year? What, what do we need to know? Come and watch the movies. That's, that's, you know, that's our biggest support. We'll, we'll always take donations. We're a nonprofit member-based organization, of course. Um, and, and we just want to bring the community together. That's what we do every year. That changed my life. When you watch a film, you know, these are emotions that we share. Um, these are stories, diverse stories from, from around the world. We've got over 40 countries represented in the program this year. And um, these are storytellers that um, we've been working all year long to bring to Minnesotans. And we're so happy that we're able to do it this time. You can stream these movies on your computer or on your television through an Apple TV AirPlay or a Roku app, something like that. It goes through next Saturday. To get instructions to see the festival program and to buy tickets, just go to WCCO.com slash links. The organizers are also giving WCCO viewers 50% off ticket prices. You will find that promo code at WCCO.com as well, Jen. Nice of them to offer a discount. Sounds like some fascinating films to watch and maybe a, the perfect weekend to cuddle up on the couch and do that, Mike.